Today is our second day of word problems, and you're going to notice that all of these word problems deal with shapes. So our first example says the length of a rectangle is six inches more than its width. If the perimeter of the rectangle is 24 inches, find its dimensions. So what that essentially means is what is the length and the width? So that's what we're looking for, what those dimensions truly are. So I would start, you know, until you get really comfortable with these is maybe by drawing a rectangle and labeling what we know. So it says the length of a rectangle is six inches more than its width. That's like the key information right there. So we could say we want our width to equal X. Okay. And so this will be our width. Remember the right side and the left side are the same. Then it says our length is six inches more than the width. Remember six inches more, more than means plus. So whatever our width is, we're going to be six inches more. So our length is X plus six. So now remember to find the perimeter of a rectangle, we just add up all the sides. Or another way you can think about it is you're going to do two times your width. Oopsies. So two times the width and the width was just X. So that would be two times X because I have two of those plus two times my length because I have two of those. So that would be my X plus six. And I know that when I add all those four sides up, I should get 24 inches. So again, the reason I did two times is because I have two X's. So that's why I did two times X. And I did two times X plus six because I have two X plus sixes. So now when I simplify this, I would get two X plus, remember when you see parentheses, that means to distribute. So that would make 2x plus 12 equals 24. Then we're going to solve this just like we have in solving equations. So our next step would be to combine like terms. So we have a positive 2x and another positive 2x, which makes a positive 4x plus 12 equals 24. Then I'll subtract 12 from both sides, and I end up with 4x equals 24 minus 12 is 12 and my last step would be to divide by 4 and I end up getting that x is 3. But now I need to make sure I answer the question. It wanted to know the dimensions. So we identified up here that our width is going to be whatever x is. So we said our width was uh, or x equal 3. So our width is 3 inches. For our length, it says to take whatever X is and plug it in. So we know our X is three. So my length will be three plus six. So my length is nine inches. So my answer for the dimensions of the shape is that the width is three inches and the length is nine inches. All right, let's try another one. Example two says, the length of a rectangle is five inches more than four times its width. If the perimeter of the rectangle is 90 inches, find its dimensions. So again, if it helps to visualize, you can always start with a rectangle and it tells us that the length of the rectangle is five inches more than four times its width. So I'm gonna let our width just be plain old X. I don't really know how long it is, so I'm just gonna call it X. So my width is X, and my length, it says, is five inches more than four times its width. So let's think about this. More than means plus. And obviously times means to multiply. 
So I'm going to do five more than four times its width. Well, the width we said was just x. So I'll write 4x because that's like 4 times x. So that would be the equation or expression for my width and my length. So again, I could read this 5 more than 4 times x, or I could have written it 4x plus 5. Either way. All right, so I know that my length is 4x plus 5. And I have my length on the top and the bottom. So now to do perimeter, I have my two widths. So I'm going to do 2 times x plus I have my two lengths. 2 times 4x plus 5, and it tells me it equals 90. So when I clean this up, 2 times x is 2x. Distribute, and remember distributing means to multiply. So 2 times 4x is 8x, and 2 times 5 is 10. So now I have 2x plus 8x plus 10 is 90. Combine like terms. Your 2x plus 8x makes 10x. So 10x plus 10 equals 90. Subtract your 10. We're left with 10x equals 90 minus 10 is 80. And our last step would be to divide by 10. So 80 divided by 10 gives me 8. But remember, that's not my final answer. I have to answer the question. It wants to know the dimensions. So I need to find the width and the length. So let's do that. So for the width, it said the width is whatever x is. So the width is just going to be 8 because that's what I found x was. And our units, again, are inches. So our width is 8 inches. To get my length, I know my length is 4x plus 5, so that means I have to do 4 times 8 plus 5. And 4 times 8 is 32, and 32 plus 5 means my length is 37 inches. So my answer would be that I have a width of 8 inches and a length of 37 inches. Now I'd like you to try number three on your own. Let's do number five together. So this one says the length of a rectangle is five less than twice its width. If the perimeter of the rectangle is 56 inches, find its dimensions. So again, I have my widths here and here. And I'm just going to be let, let them be called x. So we're going to let the width just be called x. And then we're going to use our problem here to figure out what our length should be. So it says the length of a rectangle is 5 less than twice its width. So let's recall what some of these words mean. Less than, remember, means to subtract and twice means to do two times something. So with the way we're going to write this is if our width is x, we need to be twice that. So we would write that 2x. Then it also wants us to be 5 less than that, which would mean to subtract 5. So these are our two equations we're going to use, our expressions, um, to figure out our dimensions. So it also tells me that the perimeter of the rectangle is 56 inches. So I can set up my equation. I have two x's plus I have two sides with a length of 2x minus 5 and I know when I add them all up it needs to equal 56 inches. All right so if we clean this up it's going to be 2x plus Distribute my 2, that would make 4x minus 10 equals 56. 
combine like terms, you have a 2x and a 4x, and that makes 6x. So 6x minus 10 equals 56. Add 10 to both sides, and you get 6x equals 66. Divide by 6, and we get x is 11. But we do not stop there. We're going to answer our question. So it says the width is just equal to x. So my width is 11 inches. To get my length, I have to substitute this 11 in for x, since that's what x equals. So I'm going to do 2 times 11 minus 5. So 2 times 11 is 22 minus 5. I'm running out of room makes 17 inches. So our answer would be that we have a width of 11 inches and a length of 17 inches. All right, that concludes our lesson on the second day of solving equation word problems. If you have any questions, let us know.